only moments away from Vivint Smart Home Arena in Salt Lake City, Utah. The Lakers taking on the Jazz. For the Lakers, they're clear championship contenders. Showing commitment, endurance, they're showing everything. And they'll be on the road looking to take another step towards their championship goals tonight. Jazz. Lakers is next. And we'll be right back. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Tonight. Hello, and thanks for joining us, folks, for this midweek and, and a chance now to D.A. It's all. Well, LeBron, he can impact the game in so many ways. D.A., thank you. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Arjan Rondo is out there with Dion Waiters. This should be a beauty. Yes, indeed. I think the fans feel it. The coaches feel it. Us as announcers, we feel it. The <laughs> atmosphere is going to be great. It is indeed. Back to Conley. Pass to Chain. Let's it fly. Rebound the Lakers. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. Yeah, proficiency from range, away from home, much easier said than done. They played a terrific ball game. Yeah, and you can see the crowd's reaction with every make. It wasn't pretty. Here's Kuzma. A three off the mark. Jazz leading by five. It's up a three. Conley's shot is off. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. From 11 feet away. And Kuzma gets it to go on the assist by James. Beautiful pass. LeBron, fun to watch. Intelligent, outstanding read. Best can hit. And here are the Lakers. They're on a 15-4 run right now. Oh, great ball movement there. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Utah Jazz. Let's it go with a three. And Jay good for three. And the Jazz lead by four. And with a defender right in his shirt, terrific focus by Jay. He's a hard guy to rattle. Davis dishes to LeBron. Pass to Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. And with his size and athletic ability playing above the rim, not an issue for Kuzma. Back to Conley. From deep, Che. Another miss by Che. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Utah has gone four of eight on their three-point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside. Here in the first quarter, buries it from three-point range. Best's got his second bucket of the night. You need guys who can space the floor for you. Che can do that and so much more. The pass to Davis. Kuzma outside. Davis looking for an opening. Five on the clock. And the wide open shot from Green. Trying to answer back. But that three is off the mark. Utah leading by three. Che outside. Another miss by Che. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. A quick shot there, and it's off target. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Now, O'Neal. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And a deep three from Che. Another miss by Che. His struggles from the field continue, yet they still hold the lead. Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. You won't find a much better alley-oop partner. AD flying to the rim. Che outside. From downtown, again, Che missing. Los Angeles has gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Green draws the double. 
to the inside. James, no good. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Shea outside. There's 126 left here in the first quarter. At some point, when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, perimeter scoring more important than ever. However, Anthony Davis, an elite scorer who still gets it done inside. A different look for Utah. Murray comes in for Bogdanovich. And Williams goes up in for Mike Conley. On deep, Shea. Again, Shea missing. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. A moment here to see the numbers for Anthony Davis. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. Averaging around 26 points per, nine rebounds, and just over two blocks. And the phrase, stats don't lie, absolutely applies here. He's been a monster on the court for this team. He's versatile. He's prolific. There really isn't much a defense can do once he catches fire. To the paint, O'Neal with the defensive effort. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. The Lakers trail. Here's Kuzma. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. And you have to tip your cap to Kuzma. He absorbs contact well and knows how to adjust his shot. Again, Shea missing. Lakers shooting it officially from the get-go. They're at 52% from the field. Green inside. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's James and the dunk by LeBron. Crazy to think about how many seasons LeBron's played and how many nights we've seen him do this. Here's Williams Gorse. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's LeBron. Now you see a lot of players who pick up a controller and fire. I play 2K all the time. Seriously. Always experimenting, always keeping his mind engaged, Greg, with basketball. And that's who Braun is. He lives, breathes, and eats basketball. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. They've got Williams Goss. He's out there with Jay. Murray out there with Bradley. And it's Niang in at the four slot. That's the group for Utah getting going here in the second. Pulls it up. Count it, and the Laker lead has been cut down now to just five on the basket from Best. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. And it was pretty much a cakewalk for them the last time these two squared off and had a clear advantage on the backboard. They generated second-chance opportunities on one end, preventing them on the other end. That was the story of the game. Aston Yang, nice ball movement by Utah. From deep, Shea hits the three-point five. Best's got five points now this quarter. And, and let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. Waiters with the ball. Out guarded by Murray. And the foul called up. Davis, the pass to Morris. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Morris. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Waiters. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. 
He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. Green draws the double. Passes to Davis. Now here's Waiters. He's covered closely. Six to shoot. Green finds Davis. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Jazz trail by 10. Conley the pass to Bogdanovich. Outside Conley. Shot to stop the run. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got six rebounds here tonight. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And you know what, Smitty? One of the best shot blockers among wings, Danny Green. You know, he's a chase down artist in transition. He does not give up on plays at all. Smitty, lately we're seeing more deep three-pointers than ever before. Think you could uh, step out to that 35-foot mark? Hey, Kevin, I can step out there, but the question is, could I make them at a high percentage? And that's what's so beautiful now. You're seeing these guys step out further and further, but their percentage is higher and higher than it would be from others in my area shooting 35-footers. This is fantastic, but I do not want to see a four-point line. Morris, cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And I just love the skill set that Marquise Morris has, Greg, at that forward position. He really is a do-it-all type of forward for this team. Can step outside and shoot, but has no problem guarding anyone on the front line of the opposition. And the three ball is good. Shea's got 11 points in the quarter. Their third three-pointer in a row. Outside, Green. Here's Morris. He had dropped for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. And here's Jay outside. Morris with the rebound. Lakers leading by 11. And Green with the basket on the assist from Deion Waiters. Green's got six. Fast break execution. Danny Green knows where he's supposed to be and seals the deal. Shea outside. Poked away. It's stolen by Green. On the wing, James. LeBron is doubled to the middle. Here's Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. You get this a lot from A.D. Attack, attack, and he's scoring in bunches. Outside Conley. From deep, Shea. That shot off. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Waiters passes to Green. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Green's got his third basket of the night right there. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Shea, no good. Lakers leading by 17. The drive by Green. Nice four for seven from the floor with that shot. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Conley, the pass to Shea. Back to Conley. From deep, Shea. Another miss by Che. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Unable to get that one. James looking it over. Morris kicks to Waiters. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. So it's the Los Angeles Lakers in command. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. 
Bradley's checked in for Bogdanovich. Royce O'Neal comes in for Joe Ingles. James checked in for Mitchell. And it's Conley in for Emmanuel Moutier. And then for the Lakers, JaVale McGee's checked in for Howard. Markeith Morris comes in for Anthony Davis. And Kyle Kuzma is subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Taking a look at Los Angeles, Kyle Kuzma is out there with Markeith Morris. And it's LeBron James. And there's Deion Waiters. And it's McGee in its center. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And he lobs it up toward the rim, takes the alley-oop pass, and dunks it down. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Oh, here's Che. He's got 20. Bradley trying to break free. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Let's take a peek at the league's assist leaders. LeBron James, second. Third, Rajon Rondo. And these two guys each initiate such tremendous ball movement. It's really fun to watch both of them operate. Waiters gets a wide open look. Drills it from outside. Waiters got eight points here in this quarter. Right in rhythm, Waiters tends to be most efficient in catch-and-shoot situations. Stolen by Waiters. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. From deep, Che. Good D by James. Lakers leading by 23. And the bright lights of L.A., perhaps too much for some players. But you know what, Greg? <laughs> Not for LeBron James. But this guy thrives in the spotlight. The Lakers crafting a roster to satisfy his championship ambitions. Off the court, the City of Angels perfect for maximizing his business aspirations. Rajon Rondo is checked in for Los Angeles. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by Los Angeles. LeBron kicks to Rondo. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got assist number eight here in this one already. And it's Conley with the ball for the Jazz. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Shea, no good. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Rondo passes to McGee. Bradley on the double team. Outside Rondo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Rondo's got 10. Really admire the fact that Rondo is not afraid to go down there in the paint from time to time. Che outside. For three. They grab their own miss. Niang, excellent D that time there from McGee. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Here's Bradley. Offensive struggles continue missing again. Here's Waiters, and then Waiters with the jam. It's impressive, the level of domination at both ends, and you're seeing the results. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. Picking up from where he left off, I lost count of how many threes he hit in the first half. Now nails this one. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. What it was, they are getting better shots, which has gotten them into a rhythm, and they're knocking down everything. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. And a wide open look for Rondo. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Shooting at a high clip, he's found ways to get quality looks. Che outside. From deep three-point range, that shot no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. Now here's Rondo. He's guarded closely. 
Here's LeBron, and finished off by LeBron. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. And he has been ice cold from beyond the arc here since halftime, and he continues yet to fire away. He has got to tone it down if he wants to help his team. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. All sorts of time. Rebounded by the Jazz. Rare for him to get a wide open shot from mid-range and fail to connect. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Lakers ahead, running away with... Substitution here for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for Markeith Morris. JaVale McGee comes in for Alex Caruso. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Contavious Caldwell-Pope. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Quinn Cook. Joe Ingles is out there with Murray. Then it's Che. And it's Niang in at the five spot. That's the five on the floor for the Jams. You know, Dwight Howard wants a, a, an MVP caliber performer, but age and injuries now affecting him. Still a tremendous, I believe, at rebounding and defending the rim. Rondo kicks to Howard. The dish to Davis. Misses the three. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Murray, the pass to best. Well, we know, Steve, the NBA looking at lowering the draft eligibility age from 19 to 18. The one and dones would be gone. You like the move? I do like the move, Kevin. I would just love to have a lot of things in place for these younger guys, whether they're 18, 19, some guys at 25. Just something in place to help these guys, especially some of the things that are having problems with off the court and also financially. Have some uh, kind of third eye to be able to help these guys. And this is where the G League comes into play, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Just five on the clock. Another miss by Utah. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Pass to Niang. Kicks to Murray. Shea with it. Picked up by Davis. Again, Shea missing. Man, at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? To the inside. And the slam dunk by McGee. That's next-level stuff from A.D., one of the great scorers in the game. He draws the eyes of the defense and locates the open man. And a deep three from Che. No good, and they can't put an end to this drought. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. And he comes up with the deuce. Davis has got six here in this quarter. You see the weight that AD's added to his frame over the years. Now invites contact. On the wing, Jay. James covering. And here's Jay outside. Again, Jay missing. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their cause. And Davis can't get it to go. Woo, that's just a case of bad defense and even worse offense. Well, another 10 cut moment here because he continues to miss shot after shot from three point range. This is not a fourth quarter he's going to want to remember. And when you look at Utah, this team year after year seems to be more than a sum of its parts. I like that they always look for guys with big time character unselfish, low-drama players. And there is a confidence with this group. The Jazz making a switch here. Bradley's checked in. And then for the Lakers. Markeith Morris is checked in for Howard. Caldwell Pope comes in for Davis. And it's Alex Caruso in for James. Caldwell Pope passes to Caruso. Back to Caldwell Pope. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. From past the arc. Good on the triple. Rondo is out there to distribute the ball. He is a master at finding the open man. 
It's been a pretty tough stretch for them. And this will be an important possession. It's really essential. They put a stop to this run, and the best way to do it is by great execution. Here's Bradley, and he banks in the lane. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Morris outside. Down low. And that one's good, Caruso. This is why guys like playing with Rondo, they know he's going to get them high percentage shots. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. So both teams changing it up here. And here's Jay outside. Utah gets it back. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. Morris has got six rebounds now in the game. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's Caldwell Pope with the drive. Steve, the G League is now offering select contracts worth $125,000. They want to attract prospects straight out of high school. What do you think of that? You know, I like it, Kevin, and I think I love to see that number go up and up, and I like the opportunity for some of those guys to be able to go straight out of high school. Um, it's good for some, it's bad for others, but I think you have to give those guys that opportunity. And there's the pass to Morris. Here's McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. Great game for him, double-double now. 11 points and 17 rebounds. Pass to Jay, launches it. Another miss by Jay. Coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong, yet the opposite happened. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Los Angeles. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And continued dominance against this team, winning both of their matchups this season. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for LeBron. Ooh, he put on a clinic tonight. Terrific vision, sees the whole floor, and he hits guys in their spots with pinpoint dimes. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth. Morris finds Bradley. Now McGee. And the layup's good off the glass. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Drops in the tray. Challenges the defense to come out and guard him. Che is unafraid to take that shot. Morris with the ball. There's the lob to the hoop and the slam dunk by McGee. Yeah, they've sucked the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This crowd was... Their team was dismantled. You know what? Shot care what the matchup is you never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight and that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony Steve Smith and David Aldridge this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching and we'll see you out next there time. hey hey let me get a picture yeah.